What are you doing here right now, Ian? Well, you give me a pollinator to pollinate, just pollinate the they make a bloom tomatoes, but the trouble is you, you don't cross pollinate them. You can tell you're a bachelor. <laughs> you're too used to pollinating your vegetables, Ian. <laughs> well, go pollinate some of it. So what are you doing here? We're pollinating the the tomatoes, which is what they recommend in. But this doesn't cross pollinate them. I'd like to see them cross pollinated with with another tomato, which which is what a bee would do. I thought it was a back massager. What was that, James? I thought it was a back massager. It is. But Ian's trying to. <laughs> Ian's going to try and use it on his back now. You did say you had a bad back, Ian, so it might work. Okay. Well, I've got to be careful still. Give him a little massage, James. No, don't, don't, not there. That's where the problem is. There, there, there. <laughs> that beats the chiropractor, Ian. It's cheaper. <laughs> Just have to go to Poundland for some more batteries now. <laughs> I'd rather see him cross pollinated myself. So you currently hold the UK record for the heaviest tomato? I think I, I think I do. What about that Jersey bloke though? Does that count? We had a Jersey chap in, in, in Malvern last year. Don't that count? I that that wasn't as big as yours. The UK record. Yeah, wasn't it? Well, I must hold the UK record then. We're a long way off Dan's record, aren't we? We are. Dan. We, the trouble is, we, our light level has dropped this last fort, fortnight. You need the sunlight as well as the, the warmth. So we have a lot of rain in Wales, don't we? We certainly do. How big do you think you'll get this year? Oh, six pounder. Hopefully ours is six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Good I'll luck. I'll have to pop up and see how the old plants are looking like. Have a look at the competition. Make sure you bring a chair because you'll have to sit down when you see the size of them. <laughs> Good luck, Ian. <laughs>